Today, I'm going back to grassroots. I'm going back to proper motoring, as many people would uh, call it. From about 15 years ago, I'm driving a maestro. Those of you with a long memory will remember all about the British Leyland Maestro. This was from a different era of motoring. Small engines, smaller cars, and a lot, lot less technology. The reason I'm driving the Maestro is because this is to give me some idea of what it would be like scrapping a car and getting a brand new car. Because if you've been driving around in a car that's 11, 12 year old, you can have no idea of what a new car, how, how advanced it is, how much it improved them. So, with the help of Hyundai, who have rather surprisingly bought this Maestro for £500 to show you just what a scrappage car is like, I'm re-experiencing driving an old banger. For those of you who have been on holiday for the last few months, the scrappage scheme is where if you have a car 10 years or older, uh, you can actually put it in for a new motor and the government will give you a thousand pounds and a car manufacturer will give you another thousand pounds towards the price of a new car, which is pretty good business sense really for most people. Very few people know this, but the very first new company car I ever had was in fact a Maestro, a red Maestro just like this. So this is a real drive down memory lane. And my memory is so faded that I'm struggling to find out why I got so excited when I first got into this car many moons ago. What I do remember is that even I, in my excitement, couldn't convince myself that the Maestro actually looked good. It was a funny, boxy-looking little machine, but it was actually quite modern-looking at the time, hard as it is to believe now. So, what about the overall driving experience? Well, the clutch feels as if it should be on a 20-ton truck. Uh, the gearbox is not bad, actually. Five-speed gearbox, half reasonable. The steering is erring on the side of heavy, and the performance is, how would you put it, steady with a capital S. One thing that was pretty good about it, and I remembered back then, it was a very roomy car for a sort of, I don't know, be like a focus nowadays. There was probably as much, if not more, room in the back seats than there are in most modern cars. Uh, the boot space was reasonable, and uh, it was actually quite a pleasant place to travel because the seats are quite comfortable. You might wonder why Hyundai went to the problem of buying an old banger. Well, they did it because they're cashing in more on scrappage than any other car manufacturer. 17,000 people have uh, put in their old bangers to buy a new Hyundai. They're probably attracted by, to Hyundai by the fact that there's a seven year warranty. They're very affordable cars. So they thought it was a very good idea to show you what you would not be missing in a banger and what you could be getting in a new car. But the old Maestro still handles fairly reasonably, to be honest. And, uh, you know, before the warning light came on, it was cruising okay at 70 miles an hour. Um, but you've got to look at it like this. This thing cost Hyundai £500 to buy. So you're not exactly breaking the bank. But on the other side of it, driving this underlines to me why if I had a banger, I'd categorically be using the scrappage scheme.